In this video I am going to create a counter using this uh, seven segment uh, display uh, and the counter will uh, count from uh, 0 to 9 and uh, I'm using this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico board to control the segments. So what I have here I have a breadboard I've placed uh, the seven segment display here uh, it's already inserted in the breadboard I also have the Pico board here uh, again it's uh, inserted in the breadboard and uh, I've connected the plus and minus rails uh, you can see uh, this part of the breadboard is connected by this wire to this part then uh, these wires are connecting uh, this uh, side of the board to this other side of the board uh, and uh, I also connected here uh, the ground pin uh, from the Pico board to the mm, rail uh, denoted with minus so this is going to be uh, our ground rail and uh, currently there is nothing else and we are going to build this uh, together but first uh, let's see uh, some information about the seven segment display I have uh, 3611AS uh, which um, uh, contains uh, these seven segments these are uh, basically LEDs uh, and it actually says LED seven segment display with a red uh, color ultra bright and um, uh, this particular uh, display also has another LED here which can be used if um, stacking together multiple uh, segments you can use it for a decimal dot but for this particular circuit I'm not going to use it so I'm just going to use the seven segments that form the digit 8. So uh, let's take a look in the data sheet um, a bit more. So uh, here is the pinout. I've also drawn it here by hand. So um, basically when looking at uh, the seven segment display like this, uh, we have pin number one which is uh, the first one here uh, and uh, it goes down one two three four five okay so one two three four five then uh, the count continues on this other side uh, from here to the top so uh, six seven eight nine ten and uh, uh, here you can see the diagram so pins one and six you can see it here and here yeah so on the breadboard here and here uh, these pins are actually uh, ground uh, and the other pins are uh, connected like this to the uh, segments so for example segment a which is here uh, is actually pin number uh, 10 so this one uh, segment B uh, is pin number 9 so this one uh, C uh, is 8 and all the way to uh, segment G which is uh, pin number 3 so uh, this one here and pin number 2 is actually segment F so this one so uh, what I'm planning to do is uh, connecting uh, pin 1 to ground uh, we don't uh, need both pins uh, 1 and 6 to ground it's enough to connect pin 1 to ground and then uh, I plan to connect uh, pins 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, actually uh, 6 no it's ground 7 um, is actually this uh, decimal point so we don't need it so I'm just going to connect pins uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10 in this order to uh, the GPIO pins of uh, the Pico board and I also have here a diagram for the Pico board and uh, perhaps you are uh, already familiar with uh, the layout of these uh, GPIO pins 
So it starts with GPIO 0, uh, 1, then we have a ground connection, and this ground is already connected in my case here. Uh, then uh, GPIO 2, 3, 4, 5, again a ground connection, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, another ground, and so on. So uh, basically I want uh, pin uh, GPIO 0 to be connected to pin uh, 2, GPIO 1 to pin 3, uh, the ground already connected, GPIO 2 uh, to pin uh, 4, and so on. Okay, so um, I'm going to make the connections, but uh, first remember these are LEDs, so uh, we need a resistor in order to limit the current uh, that flows through these LEDs. Otherwise, uh, you are going to burn uh, the LEDs. So, uh, I have here a resistor. Uh, I think it's uh, 330 ohms. Yes, 330 ohms. So uh, it's uh, good for uh, this connection. So I'm going to connect uh, the resistor uh, on the uh, ground connection um, to the 7 segment display. So I'm going to connect it here. And uh, after this uh, I'm going to wire the rest of the pins, as I said. So uh, until I'm uh, doing it, you can uh, take a short break and uh, like and subscribe so that you'll be notified of uh, the next uh, videos. And now I'm going to speed up a bit the film. Okay, so uh, now we have all the connections done. Uh, remember, uh, we have the pins uh, connected in order to uh, the display. Uh, we also have pin 3 of the Pico board uh, connected to ground. And we skipped uh, pin 8 of the Pico board, which is a second ground, and this is uh, not uh, connected and the rest of the pins uh, are connected in order uh, GP0 to uh, pin 1, uh, GP1 to pin 2 and so on. Uh, pins 6 and 7 of the display are not connected since we don't need the second ground and the decimal dot and the rest are again uh, connected. So now let's take a look at the program. So this is the code for uh, controlling the seven segment display. So first I've defined here the uh, pin association between the seven segment display and the Pi Pico. So I've defined uh, PA, this stands for pin uh, A of the seven segment display. And this corresponds to GPIO pin 6 from the Pico. And you can see here uh, all the associations. So, for example, GPIO 0 uh, corresponds to pin uh, to segment F. So, uh, first we need a method to a function to clear uh, all the segments, so to turn them off. So, in this case, uh, I have here display clear which uses uh, GPIO put to set uh, all the segments to false. Then I have here a function that um, turns on the segments corresponding to a certain digit. 
for example, for uh, digit zero, we need uh, six of the seven segments. So A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, without a segment G, which is uh, needed only for uh, digit eight. Then for uh, digit one, uh, we need segments uh, B and C. For digit two, we need A, B, D, E, G. Uh, for three, uh, we need A, B, C, D, G, and so on. And of course, for uh, digit eight, we need all uh, the segments from A to G uh, inclusive. And we need to define uh, all the digits uh, from zero to nine. Uh, and of course, we need a main function which uh, is the main entry point for our program. We need first to initialize the GPIO pins. Uh, I'm using pins from 0 to 6, so these are the 7 pins. Uh, we need to set the direction to be output pins, again for pin 0 to 6. Uh, then uh, we need a while loop. Uh, this is a while true, so we want the count to continue indefinitely. And uh, we have a variable here uh, of type integer uh, n, which is initially set to zero. And this will be incremented in the loop. So this will uh, have values from zero to nine. Uh, and uh, if we try to increase this past uh, nine, uh, it will become zero. So the possible values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then again, uh, it will become 0 and uh, the loop will uh, resume. Uh, so what's happening inside the loop? Uh, first, we clear uh, the display. So we turn off all the segments. Then we call the display n function, which will uh, turn on the LEDs uh, corresponding to the current value. And uh, then we have a slip uh, of uh, 1000 milliseconds, so this will be one second. I'm uh, using uh, Visual Studio Code with the Raspberry Pi Pico extension. So now I can uh, go here to this uh, extension and uh, it has this option to compile the project. So I'm just going to click compile project. So uh, it started and it was uh, already compiled. So now we need to transfer this code uh, to the board. Once we plug the board into the computer with uh, the button pressed, we need to copy the compiled file, in my case test3.uf2, uh, to the board. So I'm going to copy it and paste it on the board. And once this happens, uh, the board will uh, reset and the program will begin executing. Now you can see the program running on the Pi Pico. Uh, you see the counter on the seven segment display. One, two, three, Four and so on up to nine and now zero again and it runs continuously in a loop and uh, it's now plugged into an USB charger as you can see without the need for a laptop so I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time bye